Hi, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel on San Miguel de Allende Secrets. And today we're going to talk about a disturbingly delightful ditty. As always, in the descriptive box below, there are links with additional information, including a link out to Amazon.com that has listed all the best-selling books in the San Miguel de Allende Secrets book series. As bad but still luck would have it, the week before the virus hit town, a year ago, my favorite dance student stumbled, breaking her leg and hip. Hips heal somewhat fast, but in your 80s, major bone breaks take a bit of time, and she's been bedridden since. I visit nightly, and to pass the time, we take turns playing music we each enjoy. My octogarian pal often goes back to her childhood, and I've learned all the music of Cree Cree, cricket, the Mel Blanc of singing that instead of voicing Looney Tunes cartoons, Cree Cree wrote and performed children's music. His songs are really clever and beloved by all your Mexican pals. Hum a few bars of any of his hits in, on YouTube and you, you'll have your Mexican pals to join right in. A street in Colonial Guadalupe is named in his honor. I normally play silly yet popular songs of the American Songbook for her like Tony Basil's Hey Mickey or Carmen Miranda's The Girl in the Tutti Frutti Hat. As both feature fun choreography, though only one with immense penis-shaped bananas. I enjoy hearing more about Mexican cumbias than the other night inquired about the song I hear at every party whose chorus is Veni, Veni, Ven, Pera Mi, basically interpreted as come and come and come, then in a high-pitched thrill, trill, excuse me, for me. Always sung by woman, the song El Ladron, or The Robber, premiered in the 1964 film and had been reinterpreted many times by female singers of note, pun intended. The basic premise is the singer explains how someone broke in the night before and with something pointed, pointy pointed at her why demanding she get out of bed. When the singer asks what happens next, to which the boys in the band respond, what happens next? Upon seeing her beauty as she arises, he faints dead away. She, meanwhile, has fallen madly in love and wants him to awake and have him come to her. Okay, not a song the National Organization of Women, now, is going to endorse anytime soon. But the song's hook, Veni, Veni, Ven, Pera Mi, is catchy and ever popular. The song's most recent hit interpretation was last year by Alicia Virial, a Grammy-winning singer-songwriter. In Alicia's music version, she, donned in 1940s couture, enters a 1940s-era police station to identify her robber. Though, in reality, it isn't charges she plans on pressing against him. If you don't take the song seriously, it's great fun to hear and dance to. So much so, I've adopted my current puppy's training to sing Veni, Veni, Ven when I want the puppy to come. I dance in a circle with a pretend lasso at the same time. And upon his arrival, I shrill Pet a me, or for me, works every time. As always, feel free to click the subscribe now button below and get automatic notifications of new videos as they come out here on the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets.